Was that all one take? My name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And we're taking a look at 17 performance team, 13 Wally Chum. So I don't know what that means, but it sounds like a great time. Can't wait to watch it. I will say there was a choice between a dance practice run through and the concept video. And the last time I watched a concept video of theirs, I felt like it was a bit not overly produced but it didn't feel like it was their authentic selves like what i normally see in the dance practices so part of me was like do i choose the concepts again because they work so hard to produce these videos and i gave it i'm looking at the concept version here we'll see how it goes i'll probably make my verdict on whether or not to continue if i'm given the choice or stick to the dance practices for these um without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get started They're just lying on the freaking ground. I love it. I love it. What a start. I'm sorry, excuse me. Ooh, I like that. That was nice. Oh, I love that. That was cool. Whoa. Yeah. Mm. 
Was that all one take? Was it? Was it? Hold on. I think it was. I think this whole thing was done in one take. So freaking impressive. So impressive. Whenever, typically when you see these types of concepts, you, you see 15,000 takes of it and they get to shift it to a different location, this, that, and the other. I love the fact that was a one take. That was wonderful. I love that. The intensity was great. Really nice to showcase the technique and really only four of them holding it down. It's pretty hard to do, honestly, when you just have four people, but they definitely were captivating. The camera guy really helped. The cinematography was great. Color grading was awesome. Just the integration of regular people, it looks like, of different demographics, different ages, different walks of life. Um, that was really nice to see. I also think just having them, oh, sorry, <laughs> just having them naturally involved in this process, too, of them being, you know, accessories, but also having them frame around and also be a part of the end result was super nice. So, yeah, that's, that was definitely surprising. I think about halfway through, my brain realized wait <laughs> they didn't um this wasn't this wasn't cut which i love you know for me this is a hundred percent a closed set do you see this like a hundred percent closed like because very rarely are you gonna get this type of you know extra work involved i feel like it's all we're, we're all pretty safe to assume they did not do this they did it in public but it was definitely in they had to close some stuff down, get some stuff approved to make this happen. For sure. I love the start of this. They're literally lying on the floor. Super fun. I also really like the fact that they have different co hair colors. I know his is brighter than his is. This is more that grayscale, darker. It looks a tad bit green here, probably because of the color grading and then that uh, burnt ambery orange. Just the bleed up with the chest was so nice, captivating. That was gorgeous, where he's the only one that comes up. They create a frame. Normally you expect there to be multiple people coming up, but he was the only one that came up and they all chose to frame instead. And, that, and then they come back up. Mm. And they hold and support each other, throw each other up. And instead of throwing the fourth one up, of course no one could throw him. So he just used his hand to create a levitational kind of pull. And I just, everybody was accounted for. And I think I love that. The bleed up here. Can we talk about the fact that they did this? They couldn't have done very many takes of it because you see what they're wearing. White, 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 white. And what they are doing outside. It is not nice to white clothes. It is not. Anytime you go in public, you run a huge risk of getting your clothes dirty with a capital D. So I'm mucho impressed at this. There's a good chance they probably had an extra set of clothes on standby, but it is really nice to see here. I love this too, wherever he's here, nice and stagnant and they're all reaction, pulling him back. One of them coming up, the other one bleeding through. All of them are just reacting to each other. And it just feels, it's very conceptual. It's very nice. Shout out to the bird as an extra. Looks great. <laughs> but look how they're choosing to frame this too. You have somebody that's more hanging out on this side, somebody near the front, but notice their levels. They're representing multiple levels. Super, super captivating, enjoyable. And this was nice too, how they choose to do their features for each one. He's the only one making eye contact front and everybody else is pulsing. You're riding a certain dynamic all the way through. Very nice. That, hey, hey, when they have their hands intertwined, that was really nice. Great way to transition. And then instead of having everybody up, you still have one person down. And I believe he is our next feature, isn't it? Yeah. Branches through. Love that through having a moment. Them still creating a framework in the back, the schema, and the pull, pull with the shoulders. Love that. This was nice with, the, with an add-on. He starts it and then they naturally join in. And that was nice too. Camera work, great job to him because notice they use these arms to kind of bleed it or turn and rotate while having one of them turn with his hands and the camera. It just looks very suspenseful. 
And then instead of doing all the way around, he goes down and then he rebounds it, just like what you see with the other hands. So nice, goes towards the front. Then they continue to rotate it. So not only do they rotate with their hands, he rotates with his body to create more depth behind this kind of controlling atmosphere that they've set here. It's just really nice and it ties into the clock that we see later on in this as well. I also just checked how long this was. It did not feel like four minutes at all. It felt like a snapshot. So kudos to them for that too. That little, ugh. Taking his hands, bleeding it through, and then uh, start our first course. This was really nice. That little, yeah, as they go down, hit. Look at the stability here. It is so impressive that they did this in a one take. It is really hard to get these sequences in check. I'm assuming they had to practice to make sure they were all on the same page for all of this. Because the worst thing you want to happen is to have to make corrections in the moment. My only notes, of course, regardless if it's a one take or not, I will have notes if it is deemed necessary. If you notice all of them have their leg or their knee in line, he is significantly higher when he needs to be riding uh, pretty much right down here. So that'll be my one, my only note, especially if you're riding unison. I like that ding ding with that build on, super cool. That was nice with the with the roll on the stomach to switch, but notice I don't think they put a ton of weight on their stomach there. They kept put most of it on their hands so they can allow that switch to happen quickly because their outfits probably are not the greatest on this type of traction on the ground. It looks a bit cement or could be tiles. I'm not sure the location. Maybe you guys will be able to tell me, give me more context of this location, but you can never assume when you deal with outside circumstances, you're gonna have to factor those things in. So I'm assuming they are catering more of their weight to their hands versus their stomach when normal people roll like that it did appear like they were hovering a little bit more just so they can get through with no problems and I think that was great that all of them made that decision not just one I like that too but they when they push through creating more of a ticking moment with their wave run it around I like that the little click with them moving their head super fun having a moment so fun yeah but they're over with the knock of the hand with the hip pelvis hip pelvis action Really nice match as well. Nice little, has a little smexy vibe to this, but it's not overdone and it doesn't look cringe either. So I think it's really great choice from them. I love this here, doing as they brought it back over. We did see symptoms of that from Hoshi, I believe. He did it a little bit earlier. Love that melt through in the diagonal. And they did a great job. You can't really do a ton with four people in comparison to 13. So this was really nice to see. It's just different, right? And I know all of you knew that going in to me watching these. And I kind of had that idea too. But it's just really nice. He is, once again, he's the only one making eye contact with the camera. I love this. Boom. And so the little hand wave. I would actually equate it to more finger waves. But that's just so fun. Blood it into a hand wave. Fingers into hand dropping it down, creating a nice frame. He is still the only one looking at the camera. But then our next one, he looks at the camera whenever he does it and adds a little extra to match the rhythmic pattern that he set, which is super fun. That was cool, that little, that was cool. Because how they normally set up, you don't normally see that kind of sequence happen whenever they do that type of interlocking. So that was a really cool, different choice than what I was expecting, which is what you want. As they go up, this right here, that screams uh, Vix to me. <laughs> Shout out to Vix. I know it's been a long time since I've actually seen them, but that does give off that kind of energy of concepts that Vix used to do. They all bleed down. He's the only one that doesn't. It helps signify that he's the feature even though the camera is very far away. I love this. They turn it into a train here. And I know it's a little different than I know we had him. He started this train earlier. But it's nice to see that because he started it. They started it with a different camera angle. You're going in. You're looking. I love this here where they go da 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 Just having this is just a way different posture. And they melt it around. And normally when people hold like this, it does carry a more femme intention, but that's not what this gives here. And I'm very impressed by that because of the overall aesthetic of the context of the movements that they do before and after these types of hits. It's just very tasteful. The musicality looks very nice here. It's just enjoyable all in all. I love that with the bleed through up and then they plant the hands down. Super fun. 
with the reverb, melts ups. So just being able to just, in a very short amount of time, cite so many different texture shifts, huge kudos to them, but we're used to that. We're used to seeing them do that. I love the intentionality. Everyone's slightly different, and I think for here, it's totally fine in comparison to if all 13 are trying to do it. It does read a little differently. I love that. Mm, super cool. That was really nice, that boom. Just, you know, normally that boom. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I know they hit that a little bit earlier in the first chorus, but it's nice to see them kind of groove it out with more of this, not drunken perspective, but it does give this more unstable but stable look. And that's why those types of grooves look really nice when interwoven with more structure. I love, did you see him do this? Okay, sir, that was really nice. And he actually chose to bring it up more towards the second knuckle versus stopping it at the first. So like there's the main knuckle and then this knuckle and then this one. Uh, he, he brought it up to here versus here. And so that's actually pretty impressive because, and it makes sense though, because when you choose to make it bigger, now I'm trying to do it, it's been a long day today, <laughs> but um, just being able to do that is really nice. And it was a great choice because he was further away from the camera. That was much better that second time. But yeah, it was just, it's all in all, this whole sequence is really nice. Do doom, do doom, boom. And you're able to see the content way more clear than in the first course. That was good having one of them stay up and everybody drop down because I'm assuming they would do this live as well. Now this section, super fun having one of them respond, having a little heart that was cute, but all of them responding to that, super cool. <laughs> He is feeling this. It's really what it feels like. He is feeling it here. Yep, and then having and then having him do a little Michael there. We've already seen that earlier. He did the same kind of movement with his fingers like we've already seen. So this is choreography we've already seen, but they changed up the camera work, the angle, his the formation. So it really helps keep it fresh and captivating through the second course without having to overdo it with more complex choreo, especially if you're expected to do one take. It's really nice to see that here this was cool i love having one hand going significantly faster and then the other hand being nice and slow it feels like more like a real-time clock or like when you lift the uh casing on the back end of a clock you normally see the the gears or the things moving it just feels i don't know it just it, it feels like time is fast but slow you know but time's running out it, it definitely is just a different way that you see people interpret a clock and i really like that a lot And then they go da 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 That was fun. Fun stuff. He didn't really have to do anything. He just kind of stood there and reacted. What a great gig for me, you know? I love this. They're walking around and then using the camera. Kudos to everybody being in the right place at the right time because they have to make sure they're in the right place at the right time. So this is really cool to have this moment where he's still controlling them. Everybody is just standing. Nice little ponies as they reset up into their different formation, the bleed through. Yeah, but if you notice here when they fan it out, you don't see those people anymore. Or at least they told these people to back off. I think my people in the back would probably stay there. But if you look though, when they're trying to do a zoom out, that's what makes it so captivating is that people enter and exit in very interesting times because normally you would be like, oh, are we about to see them again? No, they've disappeared. So it gives the appearance that it's a second cut, but it's not. And that's what I really like about this. It really kind of defies what you're used to seeing. And I, I like it because it is repeat choreo. That's one thing that we normally don't see from them as often, at least in, we either see like more complex choreo, the ripples are slightly different, which, Actually, now that I think about it, they are doing that, but because they're operating at four versus 13, it makes more sense why it's a bit harder to catch. So I do I do like it. They're, they're trying to keep up with it. They're enhancing the energy because we're nearing the end. So they have to because whenever you deal with a long piece of any kind, you have to pace yourself and your stamina is really important in these cases here because it's not, it, of course with live performances is one thing, obviously, but in a video like this, when you're dealing with circumstances that are 
more uncontrolled. I would say concerts are more in control than outdoor shoots, you know? So I feel that it's definitely very impressive to see them be able to hold it down in this way like they were performing it live. And it's just, it's, it's just mad respect, mad respect for them for this. I know what it feels like to have to do a one take uh, and it is not fun if you make a mistake. You can get very frustrated very quickly. So I don't know the dynamics of how much they struggled or if it was this, that, or the other, but it is very enjoyable to see this. It truly is. I like that it's just the dip of the knees and then they drop down, dip all the way down here, just here, do, 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 and they f flip it around on the wrist and then they have it up like it's life and then it slowly dies. Super nice. And then what I love the most about this whole thing is that they're there and then everybody's just lying on the ground. It's just, it's just nice. And I love the contrast of colors too. I know that was thought through as well where you have your four and all white, everybody else is in obvious colors. And they look like they do walk on different walks of life as well. Like I've already mentioned, super, super fun. I loved this. I know it said directed by VM Project Architecture. I don't know what that is. That's a really cool building. Maybe <laughs> affiliated with that. No idea. But I really liked this because it showcases their stamina, their performance presence. It, it demonstrates the whole team because your, your camera guy, whoever's on the gimbal, whoever is on the crane, they did a phenomenal job of making sure that they got the take they needed to get. And I love the fact that they got it in a one shot. Now was this, it says video 002. I don't know if it's this, literally the second take they had or if it was a second video on a series of videos, I don't know, but this was wild. This was really, really cool. I'm so glad I watched this version <laughs> because I was a bit weary and normally I tailor to the, the dance practices like what you see here, but I'm glad I watched this one. I think it made me appreciate it a lot more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I was helpful in some way. Having a total blast on the 17 train. Uh, being able to watch just their comebacks as well as see some of their projects like this one here. Definitely excited for the discussions on Patreon and on YouTube for this one. If you do see this on YouTube and you're like, I want to see more 17, I got you. It's all on Patreon. Go check it out. It's going to be wild. I'm going to, I haven't even encountered some of the most recommended reactions. So I know I am far from over in terms of being blown away by their talent and their ability. I knew that going in. I know with this line of work of being an idol, it is partially a job but part of it is it's relational you have to be able to be cohesive with those around you you have to be able to take risks and you have to be competent in what you do and they are very competent at being idols I will tell you that so I'm definitely excited to see what else they have to bring to the table and I'm Jess and I will catch you on the flip side bye